Good morning, all of you. Today, let us study how to calculate the equivalent mass of acids, bases, and the salts, and also what is basicity for acids, what is acidity for bases. So, in this class. We will study about the calculation of equivalent mass of acids, bases and salts. In the normality equation, normality equal to weight per liter divided by equivalent weight. We need equivalent weight or equivalent mass. How equivalent weight is calculated from molecular weight? We will see a few examples, you will understand. Relation between molecular weight and equivalent weight. Molecular weight equal to equivalent weight into N, where N is the basicity for acids. For example, equivalent weight of acids equal to molecular weight of acid divided by basicity. N is basicity for bases. N is equal to acidity, equivalent weight of salt, for salt N is the charge carried by the ion, charge carried by the ion, for example equivalent weight of barium ion, then molecular weight divided by barium, B is 2 plus, the charge carried by the barium ion is 2, therefore 2. Okay, for acids, for acids, N is equal to basicity. What is called basicity? It is defined as the number of H plus ions furnished by one molecule of acid. For example, for hydrochloric acid, basicity is equal to 1 because one molecule of one basicity is the number of H plus ions furnished by one molecule of acid. Therefore, basicity is 1. For sulfuric acid, it gives 2 H plus ions. So, the basicity equal to 2. For phosphoric acid, it gives 3 H plus ions. Therefore, basicity is 3. In formic acid, this is the structure of formic acid. This is COH proton, carboxylic acid proton is acidic proton, whereas CH proton is not replaceable, ionizable proton. This is ionizable proton, this is ionizable proton, these are ionizable protons, there are three ionizable protons, replaceable protons, but in formic acid there is only one replaceable ionizable proton. So it gives it furnishes one H plus ion. In the case of acetic acid, there are four hydrogen atoms. Generally, students write N equal to four, but it is wrong. Only one replaceable proton, only one acidic proton, only one ionizable proton. The methyl group protons are not ionizable or not uh, ionizable. So, the basicity of acetic acid and formic acid is equal to N equal to 1. Okay. It is also defined as why it is called basicity. See, acids should be acidity. Why it is called basicity? Because HCl, one molecule of HCl react with the 1 N, N, 1 OH minus. Okay. It reacts with the 1 OH minus. Sulfuric acid reacts with the 2 OH minus, therefore basicity. It reacts with the 1, one, one of the OH minus ion. Okay. So alkali it reacts with the 1 molecule of sodium hydroxide. For example, HCl reacts with the 1 molecule of sodium hydroxide. So acid it reacts with the base, so basicity. 1 molecule of uh, OH minus ion, 2 molecule of OH minus ion to neutralize it. Okay, So, it is equal to number of OH minus ion reacts with the 
one molecule of acid so that's why it is called basicity so for acids it is basicity because the h plus ions reacts with the one oh minus ion hcl reacts with the one oh minus ion with one mole of uh, sodium hydroxide so basicity is one sulfuric acid reacts with the two moles of sodium hydroxide so its basicity is two for formic acid and acetic acid the, these protons are replaceable protons these are not ionizable protons for example equivalent how the equivalent weight of phosphoric acid is calculated it is equal to molecular weight divided by basicity here basicity for uh, phosphoric acid is 3 sulfuric acid how the molecular weight is calculated from the molecular weight and basicity to equivalent weight is calculated for sulfuric acid the molecular weight is equal to the sum of atomic masses of all the constituent atoms present in one molecule of the acid or base or any substance so there are two hydrogen atoms 2 into atomic mass 1 hydrogen sulfur atomic mass of sulfur is 32 oxygen there are four oxygen atoms and the atomic mass of uh, oxygen atom is 16 therefore equivalent weight equal to 98 divided by basicity is 2 therefore that is 49 for bases n is equal to acidity n is equal to acidity for example acidity is defined as the number of oh minus ions furnished by one molecule of base when dissolved in water or when dissolved in solvent so what is acidity it is defined as the number of oh minus ion furnished by one molecule of the base for sodium hydroxide it ionizes to give na plus oh minus ion therefore one oh uh, minus ion acidity is 1 for barium hydroxide it ionizes to give two oh minus ions therefore its acidity is equal to 2 for aluminum trioxide it gives it furnishes three hydroxyl ions so its acidity is 3 it is also equal to number of h plus ion reacts with the one molecule of base for example um, one h plus ion reacts with the one molecule of base that's why it is called acidity why it is called acidity it is base but uh, n is acidity n is called acidity because one molecule of one molecule of base reacts with the one molecule of h plus ion therefore acidity it reacts with the one molecule of h plus ion it reacts with the two molecule of h plus ion therefore two okay in this slide we will see how to calculate the equivalent weight of salts how is equivalent weight of salt calculated for this is for precipitation titration this is uh, used for precipitation titrations whereas equivalent weight of acids equivalent weight of bases are used for acid based titrations whereas equivalent weight of salts is used for precipitation titration for salts for precipitation titration for example barium chloride ionizes to give barium ion cl minus ion sodium carbonate it completely dissociates to give similarly it dissociates completely dissociates to give um, sodium ion and two sodium ion and uh, carbonate ion barium ion reacts with the combines barium ion barium 2 plus ion combines with the co32 minus to give barium carbonate so in the precipitation titration or in the precipitation reaction there is no change in the oxidation number there is no change in the oxidation number 
here for example equivalent weight of barium so equivalent weight of barium equal to atomic mass of barium divided by 2 n equal to 2 the charge carried on by the ion what is the charge on the ion 2 to therefore molecular atomic weight divided by 2 suppose barium chloride what is the equivalent weight of barium chloride then with respect to barium see with respect to barium then barium chloride divided by 2 okay because uh, suppose barium chloride reacts with the silver nitrate then silver chloride will be precipitated with respect to chloride with respect to chloride barium chloride then n equal to 1 molecular weight of barium chloride divided by 1 for barium chloride silver nitrate reaction please remember but with respect to barium is precipitated okay the barium for example in gravimetric analysis barium is uh, this is the weight of the substance is determined the weight of the precipitate is determined from the weight barium is the amount of barium is present in the solution is calculated okay so for cl minus ion the charge carried is n equal to 1 for sodium ion the charge carried by the cation n equal to 1 the charge carried by the ion 2 the 2 minus therefore n equal to 2 thank you all for watching in the next class we will study about equivalent masses of oxidizing agents and reducing agents they are very very important they are little difficult uh, please watch thank you